a lot of people say they want things, but they, they don't ask for it. And one way that you can ask for what you want is in the form of service. You perform a service and that is giving. So the way to get what you want is giving and that is asking. Giving is also receiving because it's asking in the form of a service. Everything I do, that is money. That is gold, my friends. So I know that I'm worth it. So I'm no longer giving discounts to people because I don't need to sit, what I say when I say discounts, I mean, I don't need to hang out with people who are not part of my mission. I don't need to talk to people who are getting paid for it at their jobs and are not supporting my, stuff like that. Okay, I'm sitting there and I used to always feel guilty for not offering people the seat, right? But, and I, and I would, I would often, see, I want you to know guilt is not from God. If you feel guilt, it's probably because you either, A, you have done something wrong, or B, someone has programmed you to feel guilty and manipulated you, and that is the devil, okay? So anyway, I'm sitting there on the train, and this is the one time where I said, no, I'm not going to offer seats to anybody, because oftentimes I'll offer people a seat, and they will say no. They don't want the seat. But then they will go sit somewhere else, right? So, oh, I don't want to inconvenience somebody. They, you know, whatever their excuses are. But the truth is people feel unworthy. So when you, even when you try to give them gifts, they won't accept it. So the people that, like I said, the people that want things, want the gifts that God gives us is those are the people who are going to crash through the terror barrier because, you know, it's become important enough now that they're going to crash through the terror barrier and they're going to go take what they want confidently and unapologetically. You know, like for my, I myself, I had a problem asking people for, you know, to move out of the, the disabled seat. But I've been asking that. That's been the new thing I've been doing like the past two weeks because I say, hey man, I'm not going to put myself in danger holding all this stuff standing up all this time, maybe bumping into the train or whatever, just, I need to sit down and relax, you know, most of these people on the train, they have jobs, they get paid for it, when they go home, they can sit down and lay down there, if they have to stand up, then they stand up, because I deserve to sit down, and like I said, that seat is mine, okay, but anyway, the point is, when you want something, when, when something becomes important enough to you, you will ask for it, whether it's in the form of a service, like me and my YouTube channel and my podcast, or performing on stage, or whether it is simply saying, hey, can I sit here? Can I have the seat? It might be something that simple. You know, if you don't value yourself enough to get what you want just to be able to sit on a seat, I mean, I can understand that because... I'm the poster child for self-hatred, but now I'm the poster child for self-confidence because I have hated myself so much, and, but I talk about music on my podcast and I talk about issues because it's important to me, not that anybody hears it necessarily, but to talk about life issues that I have gone through when I was homeless and learning my worth and to teach you about self-worth through my own experiences. So that's why I do the podcast. It's become so important that I earn a penny per podcast and then I go and text it to a bunch of people who most never even listen to it, um, yet claim to love me, but, but I, but then I put all these links on social media and all these things and pictures and posts and I do MailChimp to send out things for people to watch my YouTube performances and my, and my podcast and all this stuff. Ask and you shall receive. God gives gifts to those who ask confidently. You have to believe that you're going to receive it, and you have to believe that you are worth it. When something becomes important enough to someone, they will crash through the terror barrier and go confidently take what they want, unapologetically. If you got value from this, send me some PayPal. Sharing is caring on all your social media, and comment. Comment with what you're afraid of. What do you really want to do and what fear is stopping you? You are worth it. Thank you.